Hey, happy Thursday. Thanks for clicking on Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder for UpperMichiganStores.com. We look at a cool almanac. No surprise, really. Three degrees below average on the high and the low end. It was kind of a dreary, drizzly day. And take a look. Sunset now happening before 7 p.m. Of course, sunrise is well after 8 a.m. these days. Here's what we're watching on the national map. This latest low pressure system drifts off to the east. That gave us all kinds of trouble yesterday. We didn't see a whole lot in the way of sunshine. We're in between systems now. Weak high pressure right over the upper peninsula. And then here's some troughiness. We'll continue to track this type of trough and low pressure. This will allow any disturbance to swing in. And with temperatures, well, we'll see some reinforcing cool air. And you know what that means? We'll start to talk about the chance for uh, mixed precipitation, wintry type of uh, precipitation, even the chance for a few snowflakes before the six day is out. Let's take a look at what's happening regionally. You can see the leading edge of that cloud cover already invading places like Gogeba County, continuing to push eastward, and uh, some showers ongoing across the Dakotas now into uh, Minnesota. But these showers and all this moisture is going to continue to encounter drier air as it uh, continues eastward. So I think a bulk of the showers should hold off until this evening and overnight, maybe a sprinkle or two here and there across the extreme western UP. Well, it was a clear overnight and take a look at current temperatures as this is being recorded at the 8 o'clock hour Thursday morning. 27 Iron River and it's freezing in Florence, Iron Mountain, 30 degrees in Manistique. Lons checking in at 30 as well. Ontonagon reading the same. It's 35 Houghton Hancock, 34 Munising and uh, in Marquette over towards Newberry as well. Looking up to our north and west, there's some cool air in play and this is the type of air that we'll have to deal with, say, over the weekend and into next week as this front continues to push eastward. Places like Denver checking in cool. It's 38 there. They've had snow over the past several days. Minneapolis checking in at 42. All the warm air is uh, suppressed well to the south in the extreme southeastern U.S. really uh, with this latest front. So here it is on the synoptic map. We say goodbye to that last front. We're smack in between these two fronts. This thing will continue drifting eastward though. And like I said, hold, uh, much of the moisture holds off until this evening. We'll see some rain showers spreading eastward throughout the uh, overnight hours. Uh, they'll start to diminish by Friday. Now, by uh, Friday morning, there may be some pre-dawn snow flurries, not expecting much in the way of accumulation. You can probably just turn your wipers on and they're gone. And then by Saturday, colder air works in. You'll see this trough, and this trough is going to hang around for the next 10 days or so. That keeps below average temperatures. And any, dis any disturbances that do work in, that'll trigger uh, some dreary lake effect type of uh, rain, clouds, and of course, there's always a chance for some mixed precipitation. Only managing low 50s today, especially across the western UP. Clouds increase, maybe a sprinkle this afternoon. A bulk of that moisture holds off until this evening, spreading eastward throughout the overnight hours. Temperatures holding into the uh, 30s to around 40, some of the warmer spots, and it may be cool enough across the higher terrain to maybe produce a brief changeover before dawn Friday with some wet snow flurries. Not going to stick around, melting pretty much immediately as it hits the ground. And then for your Friday, showers diminishing in the afternoon from west to east, lingering through the evening across the eastern UP. Temperatures a little on the cool side, upper 40s to around 50. That's the best we can manage. Even cooler for the weekend. And uh, I still like the idea of a rain-snow mix Saturday afternoon and evening, especially in the higher terrain with that lake effect, air out of the northwest. And there could be a changeover to some wet snow by Sunday morning, maybe a skiff on the ground cooler air and better chances for snow will stick around next week. Thanks for watching.